I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T Honey Sauce is putting up the tree. What going on, cuh? What's happening? It's the heads of revenue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he can't curse the first 30 seconds, y'all. Right, and I almost <laughs> slipped up. <laughs> Yo, we about to get into Messy Monday, you dig? I haven't reacted to the last three. Um, simply because it'd be a, I've been untalked about all the stuff he talked about, but we just going to get into it because y'all love Messy Monday. And it's 32 minutes, so let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, is this how Messy Monday is? Oh, it's really nothing going on. Can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. Oh, you so happy. I know y'all are like, what the hell is going on? Well, it wasn't a lot of shit going on this week. I guess everybody was in a thankful and loving spirit because it was Thanksgiving holidays. But um yeah, when a lot. So I'm like, look, let me just put this in one. I need to go right now. I told him, bitch. Come on. I need a lot. So since everybody was, you know, kind of good, I was like, let me make this into like a mukbang messy Monday so we could just sit here and kick in and cackle. Oh, this look good, but the cooks. This ain't what I get. So what we talking about? What this is, is that? This is not what I get. I wouldn't want that at this all. This is not what I get. This is not what I get. I get the one with the egg. That just hurt his spirit. No, nah, that shit look nasty as hell. Do you see it though? I, I see something different, cause I don't understand what y'all taste buds looking like. Cause I would, I would tear that up. <laughs> I'm saying, cause that shit look like Salisbury steak salmon. That look like a salmon to me. Okay, I ain't seeing On it. On top of a salad, <laughs> clearly. That you would smash. I'll tear it up. I'll tear it up. <laughs> Yo, I'm I, pissed. Pissed I get the one with the eggs, the bacon, the mangoes. The... Mm, that sound better. Do you see? You see what I'm saying? That does sound better. Anyway, before we start Messy Monday Mukbang, uh, let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Tia. <laughs> Bitch. Tia, thank you so much. You have my post notifications on. It means so much to me. I know that I'm a little angry right now because one thing you don't do is play with a motherfucker's food. I like my food. I'm thinking I'm going to get eggs, bacon, mangoes, bacon bits, salmon, just, you know, the fuck what. Everybody go follow her. Give her some likes. Show her some love. Huh? And just, you know. She said my standards are low. No, I don't have low standards. I'm just not hard to please. I ain't gonna lie. That was that was that was rude. Who said your standards are? Chrissy said, "Oh, Chrissy, standards that was low. so rude." Damn. And then she gonna say, "I understand." That's crazy. Chrissy, that just was rude eat. as hell. I, you know, I'm just not picky. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just y'all won't fillet McNuggets on everything. You know? <laughs> Oh, cool, that's the Salisbury salmon right there. <laughs> <laughs> look like Salisbury salmon. <laughs> you know, once there's on that, but we are all one. Hey, bitch. Y'all, we made it through another week. Shout out to y'all and all y'all who made it through another week. See, I'm pissed the f off. See, the week. <laughs> that thing. This is why I'm saying it's important to make it through the week because shit like motherfucking this <laughs> get you pissed the f off and you be mad about it. You go eat now I want to go out there and knock somebody head off just because I ain't got what I wanted. Like you don't Why do you this to my go food. Abuse somebody else. Play with me, but not my food. Don't play with me either. That look like some good old avocado rant, though. No you know, I'm so goddamn pissed. Gosh damn really? pissed. Thanks. Can't use his name in vain. But I'm so gosh damn pissed. <laughs> Fucking baked banana. <laughs> Who eats a plate of baked banana that's like a chip? 
I ain't wanna eat that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all wouldn't even got the video because I was so pissed about that shit. I'm talking about would have started over when I went to go get my food right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would have been holy. Like, oh. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> well, me. no, no, not me, because my standards are low, so I would have ate it. Cause happily. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, with your standards so low, you would have sat there and ate that bullshit. I would have ate that happily, <laughs> and they wouldn't even known you was mad. Never about known. That food. I got the wrong food. <laughs> What are we talking about? Hell no. Pick this shit up. A fuck banana. It's him not. I want a banana. Really bitch. I want a win. Got a banana. Got it great. Got it good. Let us take him for this food. Buy your hands. I'll be fit. Give us all my daily bread. My Lord and my shepherd. I shut up on. This the food. This is what I got. <laughs> I didn't order it. Don't even want to pray Be, on be it. thankful. <laughs> Somebody that ain't got shit, they digging in the trash can. Sorry for the word, it's HIT. They digging in the trash can, looking for scraps. I got whole new food. So be grateful for this because you couldn't have it at all. So let it nourish my soul, this rabbit food, horse food, donkey food, food. Let it just be good for me, hamster food. Because at this point, I don't even want the food. Because the food ain't the food that I asked for. But God, you gave it to me, so it's meant for me to have this. Maybe I was going to get sick off the eggs. Maybe the bacon was gonna be spoiled. Maybe the other stuff that I wanted on the food was not. Oh, my tomatoes, my onions! Mmm, this oh, hurting his feelings. Just <laughs> everything. The, the prayer hurting his feelings. <laughs> Over it. In your name, amen. I would have took that bowl, threw it in the trash, and got something else. That's just, that's just spoiled. Spoiled? Spoiled. Cuz, let me ask you a question. I'm if you listening. ordered something that you paid for it. what you thought you ordered. I'm eating it. Uh-uh. No. Uh, see, that's uh, a that's you you like wasting money. See, that's not what I need to do. It's not waste what no wasting money is throwing that out. Touche. But my point is I could tell them though that they made my stuff wrong. Then you now you check that at the restaurant. Yes. But now that we're at the crib, I'm finna eat this. <laughs> I ain't that ah, shit. I, I'm eating it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not eating that shit. Throw that away. I ain't that shit. Especially after the prayer. Okay, y'all. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> that's going to go all wrong because of the prayer. The you prayer, know what I'm saying? The prayer was wrong, okay? Yes. It might be good. So, I bet uh, it's good. Let's talk about Corey and Corey. Corey is saying. It look good. Hey. That now he got custody of the children. You know I'm saying? So in this situation, I win. My lawyer just called me, told me, hey, Corey, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? You've been approved, like you, you either gonna happen. So I'm just sitting here chilling and just like, you know, I so First of all, this is cap. That's not how that happens. You actually have to go to court, especially for one parent to just win full custody. Yeah. You gotta actually go to court. Unless yeah. unless she actually is not a US citizen at all. Now, my thing is, he married her in order for her to be a U.S. citizen, which he did unlawfully, and he keeps snitching on himself. So, with that being said, uh, she should be a U.S. citizen. Ain't nothing get approved yet. He capped. I think he he did that to try and scare her or piss her off. So, cuz, you don't know the story. Basically, oh, Corey so. is married to Carmen. No, Carmen. They broke up. All right, uh, well, Corey wants to divorce her. He got to send her papers, all this other shit. But right. she won't let him see the chair. So he said that he was going to, you know, take her to court. Now, he spoke to his lawyer. He They did not go to court yet. But he just going to come out and say, the lawyer just called and said, I got full custody. They ain't went mm. to court or nothing. So I, I think he said that to, to get up under her skin because you actually got to go to court to win anything. You have to go to court. What? No, no. Actually, you don't. You can sit down with um, a mediator. I don't know if it's called mediator, but I do know you can sit down and you can come up with an agreement. Together? Two parents. Together, yes. Your lawyer talk to my lawyer if it's the fact that y'all can't meet face to face or you get your mediator, their mediator, and y'all meet up in one place. Y'all come up with something you can sign to say this, that, and the third or whatever it's possible to do it that way without having to go to court because not a lot of people want to go to court. Absolutely not. Uh, he's in Miami. She's in Houston. They ain't met nothing. They ain't so, been nowhere to get nothing. So they they did that in um, 
uh, with that mediator stand. So the mediators contacted each other and came and said, well, let's come up with some type of agreement. Carmen probably said, well, in the meantime, in between time, while I get this citizenship stuff together, you can keep the kids. Hmm. We got to because, see. Because what you don't want to happen is you do take it to court and the judge have to get involved because then the judge going to be like, oh, look. <laughs> you right, ain't supposed but, to be here, Shaw. Well, no, not only Shaw they ain't supposed to be here, they gonna take him to jail because he married her to get her her citizenship. Gotta be able to prove it. He already said it online. Yeah, but still, like, you still have to be able to prove it because you can say it online, but you can also go back and be like, we was really in love, which they sure. was doing the YouTube and all that stuff together. She gotta be able to prove that they weren't in love, and that's gonna be hard because who keeps it's up with It's not her thing, though. It's his thing. He's saying right. that He's saying that she used him for the citizenship, but they've been together for damn near 10 years. Yeah, it is. So it's over. You can't do nothing about that. That's what I thought. So yeah, he's, she... he's he's gaslighting her with that. And that's just cap, man. I, now, I feel you on the mediator thing, but that would mean that her lawyer would have to have met with his lawyer, like you said. So we would have to find out if her lawyer met with his lawyer. But. She ain't speaking about it. She is yeah, over his smart, ass. If she's smart, she would do it that way. Because taking it to court and she knows she's an alien, especially even even if he do take himself down and say, I'm snitching on myself, I only did it so she can get citizenship, she'll still get in trouble. He'll still end up winning the kids. I doubt it because she's already a citizen. Not only that, she has American children. Back in the day, when a, when a woman had children in America, that gave her that citizenship to keep the children in America. So I thought they sent them back over and them kids was in the system. Nah. I, clearly, we need to look up our laws, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kept quiet. And now I'm going to get my kids and have hey, my Nick, kids am do I this, good? You know what I'm saying? No. And I need child support. So straight up. Uh, I don't know what the way? hell going on with these two. Give me, give me three more minutes. I don't even know what to believe no more because he said he got custody of the kids. And matter of fact, hit that thing, but don't just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Two on minutes. his story, you posted up, my I ain't mama, seen my children, I ain't pictures, seen them. Thanks to my mama down. for sending me pictures. So which one is it? Have you seen them? Have you talked to them? Do you got custody? What's going on, nigga? What's happening with you and these children? And is everything y'all saying real? So I, I don't know. I'm a believer when I see the children in his in his presence. But as of right now, Corey ain't got them damn kids. Corey got them damn kids. Corey ain't got them motherfucking kids. He really That's don't have them kids. Corey got them. And somehow I be feeling like Corey just be putting on for us. Like he be and then Corey moved to Miami and want kids in Miami. He moved from Houston to Miami. And first of all, especially in order for him to get them kids, he has to have room for them kids. Now, I don't know if he got a one-bedroom or a two. I think he got a one, though. But he moved out to Miami to get, like, a penthouse-style, you know what I'm saying, thing going on. So yeah. uh, he definitely would have to have space by law. But why would you move two babies to Miami and knowing what you was trying to do? You, you was moving out to Miami to be a bachelor. You ain't even... Child. Mm. That's a mess. Well, it could be a problem. Wait, well, go ahead. It could be a publicity stunt. Mm. Publicity it could be a blunt, publicity nigga. stunt. <laughs> uh, it could, they could just be, you know, to make themselves relevant again. Because realistically, I mean, to whole just, live move. He whole live moved to Miami. She moved in her own place in uh, Houston. He had to sell the house and all that shit. That's that's worth that. Nah. Uh, well, not not worth they publicity. They also young. They also that's publicity blunt. That's crazy. <laughs> they also young. They also young and stupid. They're kids raising kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. They do some rich ass you. kids these days. That's rich all. Rich ass. I'm talking about money I already. Make you stupid. But yeah. now you're talking about dumb ass, dumb ass money. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. yeah. They just stupid rich. Dumb on top of dumb. Yeah. Try to crazy. overshadow the shit he done did and the shit he got going on. Cause see, Carmen said. She would talk, but she ain't going to talk because she just going to let everything just play out. Cause she's like, you know what? I can stay what I want to stay, but I ain't going to stay now. How do you know when enough was enough? What? I feel like when I was getting irritated with everything, when I was bumping heads 
too much when I start really realizing that I wasn't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> my enough may not be. Look at Trash said that this nigga doing a month to month till they get the new crib bread. New crib bread, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that sound about right. Your enough may not be my enough. I realized that. <laughs> Some 20 year old shit, you be like, you know what we gonna do? I know they gonna think we ain't sell the house and shit, but since we wanna sell the house and move to Miami yep. for real, I'ma just month to month, you month to month till we get our mansion in, in Miami. Then we're gonna yep. be like, boom, we got our mansion in Miami. We up about it now, yo. <laughs> enough was enough. That's some when dumb shit we would have Too much yo, going on. on. <laughs> then it got to the point where I did want my kids to just be with my mom. I feel like when people ask me how I'm really doing mentally, I just feel like I'm doing okay. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm still standing, I'm still breathing, I'm making things happen, I'm making Brilliant. things shake. I'm doing okay. Brilliant. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing great, I'm not doing amazing, but I know that those days are coming. I don't have the energy to repeat someone's name that is constantly, you know, just mm, 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 mm. <laughs> How do you deal with uh, bashing you every day? I don't deal with it. I just don't. I can't lie y'all. I have been giving Carmen hell. But I will say ahead, this, I girl. am really proud of Carmen. Like, I, I oh. am proud of her because I know y'all like, oh, so just because you think Corey cute. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm really proud of her because when enough is enough, that's when you leave. You can't make somebody leave until they're ready to leave. And so for Carmen to finally be at that point where it's like, you know what? This is enough for me. I, I, I'm done. I think she finally, like, I think she was there, but she was going through the motions. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I, I, I believe Corey. I don't think Corey was all the way perfect. But I do believe Corey played a bigger part in a lot of this than what he's trying to make us think. I mean, I love Mr. Corey, but Corey comes off as a little arrogant. He don't like to listen. Not at all. It's his way on the highway. And that's how he's like, I understand, yeah. Corman lied about her papers and where she was from and probably used you to get over here. Whoa. But at the end of the day, lied she lied about her papers. Lied about where she was from. Child, it's given. I need to go back. I done missed that. So did they? Did he know she was? They was. They was getting married for. See, that's the part I'm not understanding. Because you said he knew it. Like he, it's, he's saying it. Well, Next. because why wouldn't we have that conversation? That's number one. Number two, we were together for damn near ten years. So that means he's been completely unhappy. But he knew that you get what I'm saying. He didn't know. That's probably why he's exposing it. Because my mm -hmm. thing is, people don't be truthful. Cause oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. She probably was making it seem like she loved that nigga, but her whole motive was to get to the states. But why stay with? Him? Oh no, he said he knew it. They saying that in the comments. He said he knew. She lied and out. She lied and out where she was from. So she lied about where she was from. She lied about where she was from. Okay, so she he knew she wasn't from. Okay, wait, she no, was... she. He said she was. He said she was Puerto Rican, and then before they got married, he found out she was from somewhere else. Mm. I mean, but what so was that... the point of lying about that? Because even at that time, Puerto Rico wasn't considered the United States yet. Puerto Rico has been in the United States for a long time. It has right? it? How long? 20 plus. Oh, shit. All right. My bad. So, 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 Puerto, so she probably had a motive to be a citizen. He probably really fell in love with her. And then she told him about it. But I could see how that can make things uncomfortable. But they stupid still. <laughs> I mean, for real. I just... Uh... Yeah. Like we we I've already taken an L. You've already taken an L. Well, we got two babies out of it. I mean, I don't know. I don't. She know. fell in love with you. No matter if she started off using you, she fell he in love with you. Her mom said she wasn't really. And happy she had two beautiful kids she... by you. He just said the same you can't thing. Can't think all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and then she still allowed you to do your things and cheat while she was with you. So you can pull this narrative of, oh, she used you to stay over here and everything started off as a lie, but it ended up in a, a beautiful family. And I think you're just trying to manipulate the situation to make it seem like it's her. 
Yeah, mm. I agree. I agree. Mm. I don't know. Okay, you, you so know, next you got know, the, uh, hold on. You know, it's really hard for guys to say when they're being used and abused in a relationship because y'all look at it like, you know, like if, if I say I'm getting physically abused by my girlfriend, she hit on me. If I was to call the police, I'd be a weak man, right? Mm -hmm. So he probably knew she was using him. It's hard to come out and say that from the jump while they're still together that he's unhappy. That's probably why he was doing this whole thing. This is my narrative. I don't know if that was the case or not, but it's probably hard to say that if, you know, he young. He, we in this era where men got to be strong and can't use their feelings and all that and alpha this and beta that and all that. So it's like, he probably didn't say that because of that reason. You know what I'm saying? Good. Maybe. So, I feel you. I'm looking on the other side of the spectrum because mm -hmm. it's like, Hold on. Everybody. My issue, I'm sorry. My issue here is if that is the case, then why you have, like, you get one baby eye, right, but another one? Pulling out is hard. Yo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you, not you, you, worth that. Men are so stupid down there, bro. We That's are. That's stupid. Like, we you, are. so if you, from what you're saying, if you are already unhappy and all this other shit, you still put another one in her? That because it you when you're doing that you're not thinking oh we're gonna get another one right now because I'm sure as many times as he uh, shooting the club up that don't know don't know instances come out so it's just the one at the two times out of ten years is actually good. and let me tell you something else too, cuz the fact that they started making a YouTube channel and started making money he got something out of this he was happy for the money and to for the sure. point where he took all the money she don't get nothing she. They made that channel together, but right. now she has no money. Right. So, nigga, you got something from this, which means you use the situation just as much as she used the situation. Don't nobody care about none of that. I want my sob story to be as sad as possible because I don't want I want to feel like she used and abused me for all this time. So he can <laughs> This is why women be. pick on y'all. This is why women pick on y'all emotions like what you just said. No, I think it's that now because back then he probably couldn't have said it. For real. My like, point is, if if she using him, he using her, he can't use that narrative. That's not even you can't use that narrative. First of all, do you think he? Do you think he used her for real? Yes, nigga. I think he. No, I think he got something out of it. He, yes. I'm gonna tell you why using, he used her. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, he, it was his idea to create this YouTube channel and all this shit. Apparently she ain't know how to do none of that. Right. So he all women lead in YouTube. They lead in views. That don't mean they mm -hmm. lead in work. So they right. not editing videos some. They not editing right. videos and, and all that. So he needed to use her for her appearance. She's a beautiful woman. Why not? Yeah. He used okay. her to get that bag. Now she can't even get it. She, there's no bag there for her anymore. So he absolutely used her for sure. Well, that, because that's, that's what they do. That's because you, uh, the other people that you used to talk about, they're the same thing. Everybody does though. Everybody, you behind every man is a fine ass woman. But see, that was back in the days because men needed to, they needed a woman to survive and they need the kids and you need you to clean it right, up. Right. Now you need a woman in the front in order for you to make some money for some of these niggas. Right, 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 right. That's Thanks. what he did. He used her for that, and now he's throwing her to the wolves. That's fucked up. Touche. That's fucked 